it's really nice to see. My uncle was recently diagnosed with it, and um, they think that he's had it for about five years now. So this is something that our family is going to learn to go through. And, um, it is mm -hmm. probably one of the most difficult, most challenging things that I think any family mm -hmm. has to go through, other than you know some kind of a prolonged illness like cancer, mm -hmm. something along those lines. Yeah because you love the person so much mm -hmm. and, and it, they have a hard time remembering mm -hmm. who you are, mm -hmm. where they are, and the significance of, yeah. the, of the people in their lives. Mm -hmm. It's tough, mm -hmm. very, very difficult. Okay, so Natalie, what we have mm. is a cold front that's moving through the Treasure Valley oh. as we speak. That front is mm. generating and kicking up some of these showers that we're seeing around the region. And uh, also we've had some breezy to windy conditions today. That is going to continue this evening as the winds behind the front will be rather active. But it looks like the core of the heaviest rain is now shifting down here to the south a little bit more around Mountain Home and approaching the Magic Valley. But as you can see right here in the Treasure Valley, we're still getting these occasional pockets of rain moving on through. Look at the snow this morning, bright and early on Sun Valley on Bald Mountain right there. Now granted it managed to melt, but there's still in the higher elevations some snow and we continue to see one wave of moisture after another that's moving through the mountains and this pattern has the potential to remain unsettled like this for the next couple of days and then as we draw closer to the weekend that's when you're going to notice the change so outside right now temperature readings are currently 55 degrees in Boise same goes for Nampa 56 Caldwell 41 chilly degrees in McCall only 34 degrees right now in Stanley. That's kind of chilly. But now let's take a look at what the temperatures are going to be doing. And I, I want to just kind of fast forward here very quickly to Saturday. Saturday, we jump up to 61 degrees. Sunday, 65. Monday, 70. Tuesday, 75. And Wednesday, we will probably hit the average high temperature of 77 degrees. So we got warmer days just around the corner. But here for the next couple of days, a jacket is probably going to be appropriate. 55 degrees right now in Boise with winds fairly light out of the north at about 7 miles per hour. This satellite imagery just shows the massive amount of cloud cover that we have here in the entire western United States, pretty much from the Great Basin northward all the way up into western Canada as well. There's the low, a broad area of low pressure that's kind of persistent and parked right over Idaho, and so what it does is it acts like a vacuum, and it's pulling in all of the surrounding air, and the air that's to the north of us is chilly air, and that's why our temperature readings are going to be averaging 15 to 20 degrees cooler than average. So chilly and unsettled weather with this low that's going to be very slow to move out of the area for the next two days. Now, I don't think tomorrow is going to be quite as, shall we say, showery as it was today, but we're still going to be seeing some hit and miss pockets of rain tomorrow, maybe a few spotty showers on Friday, and then there you can see on Saturday and Sunday, warmer temperatures this weekend, lots of sunshine as the low finally begins to move away and that will allow high pressure to build in next week. That'll take our temperatures to even warmer levels. So the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley, uh, temperature readings tomorrow hitting 57 degrees on Friday, 56. Remember the average is 77, so that's 20 degrees cooler than average. Probably a little more sunshine tomorrow, but still some spotty showers, hit and miss or periods of rain tomorrow. Maybe a few spotty showers on Friday. Looks much drier this weekend. Looks super nice and mild next week with temperatures approaching the upper 70s. The mountains will continue to see that rain-snow mix of showers with snow at the higher elevations. On Friday, still a few showers around, but Saturday we start drying out in the high country as well. Sunday looks great up there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looks fantastic in the mountains with temperatures in the mid-60s. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up.